Hello and welcome to see skylights in the city of Art City. And look at the background there, our beautiful city just growing and getting busier and busier. In the last episode, we've built our new area. Let's let me zoom out of this so we can have an idea now the size of everything. So there we are. This is the old area where we fixed all the traffic. And this here on the left side is actually the new area that we have. And I mentioned that in the middle here, I would like to add a zoo. And that's what we are working on today. If I just show you some things before we start, this is how traffic is at the moment. It seems like we still have a bit of traffic in there. And I think, yeah, I did some changes in here because this was uh, not working. And actually this car is trying to turn right and you will never do that, my friend. You can't do that. So what we have to do here is just make sure that they will go, well, any of those will work. And I think we might need to remove this car because it seems like it's stuck. And is it going to work? Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, yeah, apart from the stuck thing and look at that. By the way, if you see things like that, cars stuck, people stuck, what you can do, you can go into your options, your traffic manager present edition, maintenance and reset stuck scenes in vehicles. When you do this, look at that, everyone goes their way and stop bothering you. <laughs> so hopefully this fixed that traffic, it was just that car that was stuck. And oh, I, I did one thing in here. So I've changed this, the city entrance in here for a roundabout. So this goes a lot smoother than before. We had cars backing up all the way here and changing it to a roundabout made it work much, much better. And I changed the, like the roundabout was over here. So I just brought it into this area and now we have easy access to this. This area is being built up quite nicely. I've added some trees here, especially on the main road as a buffer and on this park. And now we need to build or, oh, by the way, I can remove this. This was my copy and paste to put this in there. But now we have to build our zoo. First, let me remove, oh, no, what? Let me remove all of this. Then, Maybe I'll just select the trees from here and then we can get rid of that as well. And this will be the area of our zoo. And one of the things that I want to do is probably use this road and make it an entrance, probably around here. And maybe the zoo entrance will be around there and then the zoo will extend all the way over here. I don't know if I want any other entrance. I might do it. Might do some sort of crossing here, extend this road a little bit, put another entrance in there, and then they can cross in here. And that will act as a bridge from these two areas. That, may, that might be nice as well. But one of the things, you know what? We don't even need the entrance to be there, but I, I would like that. If I want to do this in here, let me try to make a road there, just so we have our place. And more or less in the middle, we probably should go down in a tunnel. And that's what I'll do now. There we go. We have a tunnel that will take us to the uh, zoo around this area. And then we can make good use of here. Mm, yeah, if I want to extend this road, I'll probably go above ground there instead of going underground. So that'd be all right. And these things, like 
almost enough space, but uh, not quite enough. Let's go down a little bit. I think that will look slightly better. Yeah, going to that tunnel. This should be enough space, but we will see when we add our zoo. We already have our parking area, not parking, but park area. And now we create our main gate. So zoo main gate, we have a small, we have a large one. Let's do this one. There we go. So we have a zoo level one and oh, so I didn't need to do the, ah, yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't bring it all the way over here. So, okay, let's get rid of the other one and just add this one. And I will figure out the, the zoning here later on. I won't leave it like that. You know me, you know that I won't leave it like that. So back to park. We, well, we need water in there. And the easiest way to get that is to bring water from probably into that. And there we go. And then we bring water inside there as we go. Or I can just do this right now. Why not? And I might just do another connection in here. Just because we just have this connection over there. So let's play safe and have two places where we can have pipes connecting all this. Um, a zoo. So, oh, love to see so many people walking there. But for a zoo, what we can have in here now, we have a zoo cafe, which we obviously will do. <laughs> we have a souvenir shop, some restrooms, and then we have some attractions. Moose and reindeer enclosure, bird house, antelope, and that's it for now. One thing that I want to do here, I don't want to put any animal enclosure by the train line. So what I might do, I might just create the pathway through here, connect from there all the way here. Oh, that actually looks good. I can put the things in there later, but this will give us a lot of space to work on. So, is this our zoo? As a, and I think we can have a couple of those just there. And I also want to move it slightly. So let's grab buildings and move it just over there. That way, we, this is a nice entrance to the zoo. That's what I wanted. Going back here, we are adding a zoo cafe. So before we do the cafe, let me add some roads at the back here. Maybe a straight line and we go all the way there. So now we can add a couple of cafes. I think I'll do it right in the middle there. And then probably a restroom on each side. Actually on this side, what I want you to do is a souvenir shop. There we go. Maybe facing this way. Oh, I actually don't like that. So let me move things around. Let's have the restroom there again. There we go. So next to that one. And then the souvenir shop we might do just over here. And I'll do another one in here, just so they have easy access to those little nice souvenirs. So two of those there, I know that this is quite tight, but I think when you get on a zoo, you always have that. A lot of buildings, a lot of things going on, and then as you go, things will start to uh, space out a little bit. And this is quite huge like so and then we can grab that one and just connect it there you go how nice that is everything really really integrated so we have our first attraction which is the moose and reindeer closure 
Now for the second one is the birdhouse. And I do like the birdhouse. So let's have it in there. Could have it some something there as well. Depending on the size of these buildings, we might go one way or another. But I think for now, this will work for us. I will start with the antelope enclosure just here, I think. And then we can work around that. There won't be a problem. Alright. This is looking pretty nice. I don't know if the animals will like the train noise over there, but you know, it is what it is. And the popular university zoo that will change its name very soon. So one way that we can do what I'm thinking here is that we can go up and I'll probably remove the guidelines there. And then I hope this is fine there. Yeah, it's all right. And then we can go all the way. Okay, let's try this and go back down. Oh, we need a zoo entrance in here before I put that down. And I noticed this is quite steep, so we might go a little bit further back there. Okay, that seems slightly better. There we go. And from there, we do a side gate. And people are already crossing it, killing it. I think they're all, oh, look at how many people. I think they're coming and just using this as a cross. A cross? A crossing. That's what I want to say. And just make it a nice slope over there. And this one is already a nice slope. So I won't bother about that. And if they want to use it, that's fine by me. But let's not forget to increase the price. <laughs> so we do have the entertainment. entertainment and now there is a lot of people coming just use that as a crossing way and they are happy to pay all that money for this they, there are actually are quite a lot of people in there <laughs> look at this wow and there's a lot of people actually going into the the park itself which is pretty good i might even add a couple more gates in here just to make sure like for example this might be a nice place for that and we level up now we have the insect amphibian and reptile house and the bison enclosure fantastic So now we have another, well, this is not connecting anywhere yet. So what we should do here is basically bring this over like so. And we connect over there. Probably this bit here should be on ground level. And then we can move this slightly so it's in the right place. All right, I'm happy with that. And now, as you can see, they are also using that to cross over there. That'll give us a lot of uh, people pretty quickly on, on our park here for our next goal. So our next goal, by the way, is 2,500 entertainment level. We have enough, but I still want to add a couple more uh, places in here, like the bison enclosure, which is huge as well. remove that please thank you now we can see we could actually have another pathway connecting these buildings at the back there let me see what's the size of this this actually could be a good place for 
then we can add the sex amphibian in reptile house, which goes really well there. Look at that, fits perfectly. Cool. And if we need to now, we can actually add a few other buildings in here. I don't think we managed to get all the buildings in. We might change a few things or we might add other things, but at least we we have quite a few and we have the necessary entertainment to actually level up. So a lot more people now walking through this and crossing into different areas, which is all that we want to see. I think while it happens, I will add some things here just to make sure that it's all safe. And there we go, we've reached the level 3. Now we can have the sea life enclosure, the flamingo enclosure, and the elephant enclosure. I'll just finish building, not building, but connecting this and making sure that it's on the right place there, just underneath the, what's the word that I'm looking for? The crossway, and <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's not the best. I think that looks slightly better, yeah. But in any case, we do have things now around the place. And what do we need now? Um, we've achieved 1,700 already. We need 5,000 until the next level. And we already have the entertainment for that. But even though I want to add a few more buildings in here, so let's take a look at the sea enclosure. We need to add that to a shoreline, which we don't have it unless we go all the way over there, which is not happening. So we have the elephants and the flamingo. We need some flamingos in here, I would say. What's the size of this? This is not really connecting to anything, which is kind of scary. Well, elephants can go in there, so that'll be flamingo. Let me put that down. All right, so this is how it looks. And, ah, okay, so these roads, they are actually, let me remove this. Go back to our pathway, connect to everything and see if we can make something from there. Back to our flamingos. Oh, that's the elephant. There. Do we have a connection? Yes, we do. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted. We can connect it over there. We can connect it over there. And why not even there? That looks pretty good. And now we probably have the, the space to add the elephant enclosure, which is huge. If we do this, it will probably be the last one that we do. Let me move that around. I don't think we can. Yeah, we don't have the space for that. It's very, very close, but we don't have the space for that one. Well, I guess that's around. How many? It gives us 150 entertainment against 120 from the flamingos. All right. But fair enough, we do have the necessary entertainment points for the next level. So let's wait and see what we get. 
while we wait for that, I believe I'll add some uh, trees around this area. Let's just do some very simple detailing around here. There we go, we now unlock level 4 and the monkey palace in the giraffe enclosure. And I just like how these yellow trees look in here. So I thought I want to bring a little bit of color to this area, like with the red trees in there, red leaf trees and the yellow ones. And I think this looks pretty, pretty cool. And what I'll do here, I will start by adding a smoke path connection in there. I think that'll work in our favor. And let's see what we have here. So this is the giraffe and this is the monkey. Monkey is much smaller. We could even add here if we move those cafes and which I actually can move it into that area. And the giraffe is probably going to be all right if we add it somewhere around here. We have to connect to the path over there, but yeah, we can make that work, I believe. Let's do this. Let's move these around. And so how we started with this one. Then we move it. This one. Then the next one. And the final one. We even had a new souvenir shop actually in there. This one is a little bit out of place, so why not have it over there? Yeah, much happier with that, those buildings over there. So, okay, this one will go right here, I would say. Let's see how that looks. We might, we might need just to adjust that up little bit and there we go I think this looks much better now although this is not straight with this road this is straight with that one and I think that works quite well for us we can see the monkeys over there well they just got inside there we go yay and then we do we need more we need more, we need 2,000 to level up. All right. Oh, this is quite busy now. Um, are they? All right. This became like the a main road for everyone that's getting to the highway and getting to this area. So they're using this square belt, going there, in there, and going somewhere else. So as far as the, let me just take a look at that. Yeah, they're going all on this place and some on that. All right, all right, fair enough. I could just make that as a cargo access, but we'll see that later. So in here, we can add the giraffes. Let's see how we can fit this better. Then we just have the rhino and the lion. There are more options for them to walk and for them to see new attractions in there. But again, I don't think the other ones will be able to get in there. Um, but we still need more 
points there. One thing that we could do is actually everyone likes a souvenir shop, so I'll add more of those. Or we can actually add here because this is um, above ground, so it doesn't work that way. But we could add another one in there and probably another cafe in there and a restroom as we've been doing. Can I fit another cafe in here? No, I can't. All right, but I can one in here. All the cafes, we always need cafes. How are we with points? Oh, so close. Is there anything that we've missed here that we could use? We could add more plazas though. Let's see. This is a very tricky area to work with, but you know what? Something that fits here, a zoo cafe. <laughs> and can we do, I could do the souvenir shop in there. Yeah, I'm inclined to do it. Because this is kind of the exit and would be good to have one there as well. And maybe a restroom there and then we just need water. Okay, these should work well for us now. And I believe we have all the points that we need. Oh, we need also little. So we need 33 points there to level up. Let's try to find those 33 points. The plaza is one way of doing this. I could always add like decoration and things like that. This adds a little bit, but not too much. Sign still counts as a park, right? So we have to make that count. And oh, we need three points. Come on. Let's see if using a few banks that will help us, or if not, maybe this one. We have the space in here, so that'll be quite nice. Let me see if that's actually adding the points. Yeah, all right, we have enough now to go up one more level. We just need more visitors, which is happening. It's just gonna take a while. So while this happens, I will probably add a, a couple of trees here and there just to brighten up this place. star zoo and we've now unlocked let's see if we can actually get any of those buildings here so the rhino or the lion enclosure the lion enclosure it's actually uh not doable it's almost it could be like the only one on the other side but i don't want to add any other buildings in there what about the rhino Oh, this is just almost the right size. If I move this slightly to that side, I think we can fit it in there. Let me see. This would go here. And then we would have to move this around. Can I just like grab this and move it? Yes, I can. I think that's it. Like we have, I can move it slightly around here too. And 
and then yeah they will just meet in there and I know that this is going through the building but we can just move this one over here that's not a problem it's just a restroom and we do have the giraffe we have the rhinos and everyone's happy so now we have a lot of entertainment we are at maximum level and look at how many people 10,400 people using this and that's the first time I noticed that it gives you the size of the zoo so 2,099 cells and attractiveness uh, 1,800 so I don't know what the size means or if that influences on anything I might have to take a look at that but I think this is good the only thing that's missing in here now is adding a few more trees in this area to fill these gaps. I don't want to add any more of them. Although it would look good to have like one more in there just to keep it consistent with everything else. I might just paste things slightly different. Like giving them a little bit more space in between the buildings and then bring them water over there and now i'll do the trees and there we have it i actually find it like i think this looks pretty good for what I've done here and definitely those red trees over there have been helping a lot with the way it looks I know that's very cluttered there's a lot of things happening here and that we don't have all the buildings but that's how you at least get your zoo up to level 5 and uh, with the maximum price uh, in there as well I think one of the things that's worth mentioning uh, as I have these pathways that go from one side of the other of the highway there's a lot of uh, citizens that are using that to actually just as a means to cross that area because this is where they go to work and that's fine this is this is bringing you money and this is also making you level up a lot faster but I like the way that we did the trees in here. We put those red trees. We have now the Seattle trees uh, getting into the city. We have our amusement park over there, which we still have some work to do. But I really, really enjoy our new zoo in this um, area of the city. One thing that we might want to take a look here is how our entertainment value is in this area or leisure. As you can see, it's all pretty high now that we have this park. And yeah, pretty happy with the outcome. So what do you think about this? I'll leave a comment and like this video uh, because you helped me a lot and I hope you enjoy it. So give it a like to show that you appreciate it. And if you want, join my Discord server so we can have a further discussion about this area, about the zoo and what are the options that you might have. And also don't forget to subscribe so you can see how this whole area develops. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.